Covering Nassau County, investigators are stunned tonight. A man accused of this, setting fire to a number of cars and apartments last year, vehicles and homes at an apartment complex in Hilliard, just torched. Well, he was cleared today. In fact, it took a jury just four minutes to find Ryan Wilson not guilty. Channel 4's Tim Pulliam is live tonight with reaction. Tim? Wilson was facing 30 years in prison. Investigators believe that he was truly connected to these arsons, but a jury was not convinced. After spending 10 months in jail on charges of arson, Ryan Wilson is a free man. It took the jury less than five minutes to declare him not guilty. The uh, acquittal was certainly a surprise. Nassau County Under Sheriff George Luters stands by the investigation his deputies and the fire marshal's office conducted last year at Eastwood Oak Apartments where several cars were set on fire. Luters says circumstantial evidence gave detectives enough reason to arrest the 51-year-old with arson. He actually lived in the Eastwood Apartments um, which would put him in close proximity to the vehicle fires that were there. Um, statements from um, the person who, who gave the sworn statement to the state attorney's office about him being absent during the time the fires were there and then popping back up after the fire department got there. But the public defender who represented Wilson at trial says the investigator's key witness was a spiteful ex-girlfriend of his who wrongfully identified him as a suspect. In this statement, the public defender's office says, quote, Mr. Wilson had never argued about a previous accident with the owner of the burned car and that he was not facing eviction from his apartment at the time of the fires. In addition, the ex-girlfriend's description of how Mr. Wilson said he had started the fires did not match with the findings of the fire marshal who investigated the arson. Well, well you can't say that she lied because the jury acquitted. You can't do that because she may have told the truth and the defense team may have put a doubt in the juror's mind as to her intentions as far as as far as the uh, her testimony went. Tonight, we spoke to one of the victims of the arson about the jury's decision not to convict. It's unfortunate, um, you know, uh, I believe in karma. So uh, what comes around goes around. If that's what uh, if, uh, you know, if he didn't do it, then, uh, you know, maybe the, the person uh, that did will uh, end up where he should be or she should be. Now, the public defender told me that Wilson broke down after he heard the verdict. He just started crying uncontrollably. We wanted to talk to him tonight, but we were told that he is already in New York where he plans to live. We are live tonight. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, the local station. Tim, the jury just didn't believe Ryan Wilson's girlfriend's story, so will she face charges? She will not face charges, according to Under Sheriff Luters. He says that she may have been telling the truth, but the defense was just able to convince the jury otherwise. Mary. Tim Pulliam reporting to us live.